skeptical about anything that can't be established by observation, right? By, by the five senses, by sight, smell, hearing, touch, whatever. Anything that can't be established by that, they're skeptical about its existence. So, um, so then that's a type of skepticism as well that, that may be unwarranted. Uh, Ibn Taymiyyah responds to that by saying that empirical investigation is appropriate for learning about the dunya, about the matters of this world, right? When in an observable world, when it comes to matters of the natural world, yes, of course, use empirical investigation. But don't make the mistake of assuming that there is absolutely nothing outside of the natural world, that there's nothing that goes beyond our empirical lens. There's absolutely no justification for that assumption. That is a metaphysical claim that has no evidence. Because if we were to uh, espouse that, then we would, uh, we would reject morality, we would reject metaphysics, we would eject, reject anything that can't be studied with the empirical lens of science. So for example, this is something I mentioned uh, uh, you know, uh, two nights ago as well, uh, when it comes to morality, you know, there's uh, philosophers like Richard Garner who say that because we don't have any empirical evidence for it, we should get rid of the category of good and evil. We should get rid of this notion that there's such a thing as morality. We should be moral abolitionists. We should abolish the concept of good and evil because we don't have any proof that it exists. Nobody has ever seen uh, the, the concept of good and the concept of evil. We all operate according to these concepts, but according to him, since we have no empirical evidence that they exist, we should reject it. And he calls on fellow atheists to abolish the, the, uh, the belief in morality, just like they've abolished belief in the existence of God. Thank you.